In this episode, I will be showing you what's inside Scrawler Box's June box, but ta-da! Surprise! I have not one, not two, but three boxes. And let me explain to you why. Scrawler Box has sales of old boxes from time to time, and I got these two boxes. Can you believe for five pounds, which is less than six euros each? And I got these two, and I quickly would like to show you exactly these two. Because look, this is a mixed media box. There is a white gel pen. We love those to make highlights on our art channel pages. And see what the artist has created. There is white, there is black, and there is even some glitter. So there is glue pen. and a packet of glitter. So this is a mixed media box. So sometimes it turns out you get more mixed media oriented boxes. I am very happy with this box, even though it is an old box from the last year. And another one I wanted to show you for a different reason. Look at this box, what you get for six euros. These are the famous tree blend markers from Spectrum Noir. So if you are a card maker, you know that we like these uh, tree blend markers or other markers which are, which are already sorted for us by putting together different values of the same colors. So if I want to paint a green leaf and I want to shade it, I just grab one of these and I know that there will be three shades of green which work together. So I was so excited to see these in the box and three of them. Amazing. So if you are still thinking to subscribe to Scroller Box or not, maybe yes, because sometimes you get access to these amazing, amazing sales of previous boxes. And now let's go back to the June box and open it. And straight away I got excited because I love the color combination that I see. Yeah, the packet was very really light, but about that later. See the color combination, and I see these two colors pop up in our journal pages a lot in the last couple of months, so I think they are in vogue at the moment. So you get this combination of pink and magenta with turquoise and teal, although this is more indigo, I think. But at this moment I started to have very high hopes for this box. As always, there is a little magazine which describes the products, which has interview with an artist who designed the box. This month is Tessa Harris from UK. Uh, you get examples of the creations from the subscribers of the previous boxes. And now let's have a look what is inside the box. As always, there is some substrate, and this time it is watercolor paper. And you know me, I love watercoloring. Although I'm not um, an expert in the field, but I'm still learning, so I'm very happy about every opportunity to try something. And this is a watercolor pad with 200 grams paper. Beautiful. Love my watercolor paper. <laughs> So we should be getting watercolors. I'm just very intrigued because the packet is really, really light. So let's see how the watercolors will manifest themselves. Oh, little patience while I unwrap the tissue paper. <laughs> there is another packet again. Oh, looks like a candy bar. So in the packet we get the little piece of paper describing the products again. And pencils. And this time these are, yes, indeed watercolor pencils by Derwent. So we get three colors. And let's start with swatching them straight away. Well, I just put aside that sticker. And let's see how these pencils work. The first color is Prussian blue. 
beautiful. The second color is terracotta. They lie on the paper very easily, but of course the uh, proof of the pudding will be checking how they work when the water will be applied. And the last pencil is ivory black. So let's try and watercolor with them. So I'm adding the water to the blue and um, hmm. at first I thought I'm doing something wrong but there isn't really much you can do wrong. You just wet the color and try to spread it and, and it didn't want to spread very much and the same with the terracotta. So the color is not very pigmented, it's very subtle. And the black was more like um, grayish tone, like paints gray with a slight blue tinge. But the colors are very, very light. And so far none of them match the example given by the artist. And I was so looking forward to those teals and magenta. Oh yeah, I forgot to show the candy, which... Hmm, doesn't match very or maybe we will get some gold in this little surprise oh pot the red pot is wanting to stick to the paper so we get pots and the name says shimmer so what is shimmer what does it mean shimmer is it paint? Is it something you add to the paint? Like a glitter? So I had to open the magazine which only said that this is a shimmer. So then I checked the little paper which describes the materials in more detail and yay! It is a watercolor. So it is a shimmery watercolor. Wonderful, I'm looking forward to trying it. I'm opening the pink. Oh, it's it's slightly gooey, it's um, soft, creamy. It might be very enjoyable to work with it. Then the green, oh, took me some effort. And there seems to be less paint in it than in the pink. And the last one, which is um, pearlescent silver. And this one is different again. It is very dry. There is some liquid at the bottom of the pot, but all the glitter is, has made a crust, has dried around the edge of the pot and on the lid. Maybe it needs to be so because metallic paints sometimes are different from the color paint, colored paints, <laughs> if I may say so. So I'll try to mix all the glitter into the paint. It looks gorgeous and not to waste anything I'm taking what I had on my mixing stick and putting it on the paper and the silver is gorgeous. It shimmers, it is rich, creamy, very happy with the silver. And to get the watercolors which are really shimmery, it is rare. There are some uh, metallic watercolor sets around but not all of them are very richly shimmering, so I'm very happy with this silver. So trying the pink, the pink is again very rich color, but there isn't much shine to it. Red again straight from the pot, it is beautiful, rich, creamy, joy to work with. And when I try to watercolor it, to spread it with water, hmm. See, I'm, I'm 
tilting the page and you can see that the gray shines beautifully and with pink and green there is some shine some some shimmer you can detect on the green but sorry i do not see anything on the pink hmm. so this was the contents on the box and somehow my very high expectations i'm very sorry to say that went downhill oh and i couldn't even think about anything to paint so i've decided just to make a fancy swatch page of the colors and this was inspired by susan roseart i will link to her page under this video she does these amazing watercolor swatches swatch art journal pages and although they are simple swatches they are very very interesting to look at and rich in detail so i tried to do something similar with the colors that were in th in this box and with the pencils that were in this box i sped it up uh, significantly and i used the black pencil to write that this is from the score box june box and the colors included in the box so the gray shimmer color is magnificent love it the other two shimmer colors are beautiful watercolors on their own even if they don't shimmer a lot and me and the pencils we did not become friends so see you soon in the next episode. Bye-bye. <laughs>